Hello and welcome to CrawlCat. Uh, this is a simple example of how to create text on a 3G object. We're going to start with a small 3D box. We'll just create it. Dimensions 50mm by 20mm and we'll extrude it so that we've got something to work with. Let's say 10mm. Uh, now we might want to put some uh, letters here uh, but the first thing we want to do is select the plane we're going to place the text on. So we type in CCS and then we select the corner. Uh, then we just press enter because we don't need to change the angle. We're going to select text by typing text and then we hit E because we want to change the settings. We're going to make it uh, standard because it's standard. We'll change the font to something like Arial Black. I've already got it selected. That's uh, a good dark font. We'll make it 10 mil high. Then we just uh, click on our document and type in something. This has been asked by someone called Padem, so I'll use their name. And what we want to do is place that. So click somewhere else, then hit Escape, and that'll put the text there. We select it, and then we can move it around. Now, one of the things we don't want to do is move it to another part of the, uh, the object. So we'll turn off E-Track and E-Snap, so we can just place it on the plane where we've put the custom coordinate system. And you can also control X to delete it, and control V to put it back. Gives you a nice clean piece to work with. It looks like it's about center. And now we want to extrude it. But when you go to extrude text normally, you can't select it. It's just not possible. So we have to explode it. And to do that, we do EXP TXT. Oh, sorry, that's uh, TXT EXP. Then it says, What's the entity? We'll click on the text and right click, and that's now exploded. That these are now individual parts of letters. We highlight the whole lot and we simply extrude. And let's extrude them two millimeters up. We've got that nice embossed character on top of the block. Now at the moment, if we go to a 3D hidden view, you'll notice that we can't actually see through the middle of the characters. Uh, if we constrain orbit around, we can confirm, in fact, they're solid pieces. And when we zoom in, we can see that there are, in fact, pieces in there. To remove them, we have to do a solid, solid editing, subtract. Select the parts we want to keep, the P, and then select the hole we want to remove. And it deletes it. I'll do again with the A. Uh, solid, solid editing, subtract. Select the A. Right click to let it know it's selected because you can select multiple items. In fact, you can select several letters at the same time uh, if you hold down Shift. And then we want to select the center and make that delete. And now within Hidden View, we'll notice that we've actually got a hole there. And so our text is complete. There's one thing more we need to do and that is these pieces of text they're not attached to the block and that means when we print it they're, they're not going to show up so we've got to select everything on the screen and then we're going to uh, once again use union so solids uh, then we go to solid editing and union that's now one solid piece and uh, if we print that on a 3D printer that'll actually come out as a single part with a solid core now that's if you want to make the text stand up above the block. Uh, you'll notice as I constrain view that the text is showing up on top. What if we wanted to take that down into the block? I'll just back up through the steps and I'll show you that. So let me go back a few steps to where we started just after the text explode. And what we want to do is actually extrude this in the opposite direction. So again, we highlight, solid, draw, extrude, minus 2 for 2 millimeters into the block. We've still got to delete the centers, remember. So we'll uh, solid, solid editing, subtract. I'll hold shift down this time and hit select the P and the A, and then right click to let them know they're selected. And I'll hold the shift again, select the core of the P and the core of the A. And once again, that's gone in. That's slightly different because 
what we do is we make a group out of all these just of the letters not of the block with solid solid editing union and then we go solid solid editing subtract and we select the block and then we select the letters that's now remove them from the block just to show you we'll go back to the hidden view and as I move it around in the constrained orbit you'll notice that that's actually gone into the block about two millimeters and that's all you need to do and that's how you place text on a 3G object under CorelCAD. Thank you very much for watching.